Hi everyone, um, tonight I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make the Gerber Daisy clips. Um, this one doesn't have the clip to the back yet, but in the tutorial I'll show you how to do the clip. Here's one of the clips. Um, it's really simple to make these. Um, I can do about one of them in like a minute or two. Um, it all depends. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. Um, the first thing that you will need um, is a Gerber Daisy. You can get these at Joann's Hobby Lobby or on the internet. Um, I actually am going to do a buy-in for these. Um, I will leave my group on Facebook down in the description box along with my boutique also. Um, you're going to need a glue gun. I have the AdTech hybrid. Um, it can be cordless or not. Um, I got this at Walmart. Um, Joann's have them or Hobby Lobby also. Um, also, you're going to need four centimeter felt circle or smaller, but I wouldn't go any bigger than four centimeters. Um, and try and get the same color as the Gerber baby. Like this one's a purple one, so I have a purple clip on the back. I'm um, felt on the back, so I try to get the closest match as I can. Um, so I'm using a white daisy and a white. Um, you're also going to need scissors. Um, these are my fabric scissors I got at Walmart. Um, and also a alligator clip. Just a small one. Nothing too fancy. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing that you do, see this green thing on the back? I think that the green clashes with the daisy itself. It doesn't look good with any of the colors. So what do I do? Is I take my scissors and I clip the stem as close as I can get without cutting the daisy. And it's going to go flying. My kids will find it later. And then what I do is I take this and I just pops off like that. See? Um, just throw this inside, throw it away in the trash. You're not going to need them anymore. Um, and then there's still the little tiny stem. What do I do? I get as close to the fabric as I can without cutting it, and I just snip it off. Now, with these, once you take the screen thing and the stem off, your petals are going to come apart. Um, these usually have three, four layers in them. So basically I just take them and I lay them down in the order that they go in. Just lay them one on top of each other. Um, like that. And then you have this tiny, tiny piece which has your embellishment on the front. Some of these don't come with embellishments on the front. Mine just so happen to have the embellishments, so I don't have to add anything. But some people add bottle cap images or anything. So we're going to take the glue gun and we're just going to glue the back of these, like around in a circle. Basically, we're just going to glue. Use enough glue to be able to hold it. This is how much glue I use. And then we're going to take our first petal and lay it on top. Now, make sure you don't burn yourself. I'm used to the glue gun burning, so it doesn't really bother me. But press down a couple times in a circle. And that's how you do it. Now we're going to do the same thing with each layer on top of each other. So 
let's go ahead and do that. press down. It's going to be hot, so be careful with your fingers, especially if you're new. I'm not doing this because it does hurt. I've got blisters from hot glue before. This will not feel nice. Cat's back there in the background climbing on stuff. Now, just enough glue to be able to Get it right. Now there's holes in these, and that's how I line them to make them go where they need to go because the holes will be the same spot. And then that's how you have your daisy. Now what we're gonna do is attach our felt. Um, so basically what you're gonna do is you're going to glue the whole way around until you get into the middle. Which is fairly easy. This is fairly easy to do, but these sell like crazy at craft shows. So if you have a craft show coming up, I advise have a lot of these on hand. So what we're going to do is just glue it the whole way around and around again until you get into in the middle. So it looks like this. Basically you take your glue, I mean your felt, and you just it. Press down and then just tie it. I mm -hmm. use a lot of glue on them just so they don't come apart. And trust me, they won't. And now they, these will lay flatter in the hair than with a stem on it. Um, like that. And then we are going to take our alligator clip and just attach it in the center like this. And what you do with that, um, some people use lined alligator clips. I'm not using lined alligator clips, so it's fine. Basically, you take your glue, just do a line right across the middle of the felt. So it should look like this. And then what you're going to do is take your clip. Now your clip has curved side. I like that to be facing out. So flat side down. So basically we're going to open our clip. Put your finger in it so it doesn't glue it together. Like this. And now this is gonna burn your finger, so be careful. And then just pull it down, hold it there, press down on the clip. And make sure it's dry before you uh, put the thing down or they will stick together. But that's how. You make a Gerber Daisy clip. Not too hard. Very easy to make, and you can make a ton of them. Simple. And yeah. Thank you for watching, and I will be having more tutorials coming soon.